Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today we pay another visit to the universe of EVE Online through the magic of VR. This is EVE Gunjack. They don't look like much, do they? Just a bunch of rocks, right? Wrong. That's what raw wealth looks like. Billions of isk. Long before it becomes zeros in someone's bank account. We got here first. But they'll come. Pirates. Scavengers. Rival corporations. They're all going to try and take it from us. Your job is to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, so you may not have heard of this. You probably heard of EVE Valkyrie, which was the VR title they demoed on the Oculus. It became a launch title for the Oculus, and everybody wanted to buy the Oculus pretty much for that game. This is the game they created for the Gear VR, which is essentially a plastic kind of clip-on thing that turns your Samsung cell phones into a VR system. Gunjack has since been ported to the Oculus and the Vive. I'm obviously playing it on the Vive, uh, and what it is, is essentially you are the gunner on a mining freighter doing mining type things. And it's pretty much you just pointing the guns in different directions and shooting things. So it's an on-rails shooter, more or less. It's basically the case of you look at something and you kill it with your guns. You ever see a rush drone, mate? When you destroy them, the entire formation goes into overdrive. Yeah, you have some uh, helpful commander dude giving you options, but I'm looking around the inside here. Look, we get nice post-it notes there telling you, I don't know, things this week with a big K. And helpfully, on the other side, you have exactly the same textures, but flipped. Yes, it's one of those subtle flaws that turns up in many, many, many games. But we are about to be deployed. All systems are online. It's up to you now, eh? Indeed, it's just me, because there's no other friends helping you. You just have waves and waves of these drones and drone fighters and things like that. Many of the assets are pretty much drawn directly from EVE Online. You're going to notice many ship designs that are very, uh... <laughs> Ouch, I get hit there. I've never seen that happen in EVE Online, but this is of course a game inspired by the EVE Online universe. Instead of being an immortal capsuleer captaining an epic starship, you are but a cog in the machine. You are somebody manning one of these turrets and basically blowing things out of the sky. And that's essentially it. You shoot things, you get bonuses for completing waves, you get uh, power-ups that you can pick up, missiles coming in, you know, all the usual tropes that you see in these on-rail games. That's me got a missile, and I can activate that with the left button. The controller is very, very simple. There's only like three buttons in the controller, I think. There's basically fire, reload, and use special weapon. Actually, turning the controller doesn't do anything. The targeting is entirely using the headset here. So, uh, yeah, if, you have a, if you're the kind of person that gets a sword neck from turning your head a lot, you might uh, have some problems with this. Whoa, what's that? Yeah, we get the lasers. These are some uh, daredevils, I think. They're not... I always get confused between that and the Dramiel. And that is the, the Amarian stealth bomber, the, the nemesis. That's right. Oh, now back to the auto cannons because Outer Ring Enterprises are clearly Minmatar-inspired. I'm not sure that actually makes sense, because Outer Ring, if I remember correctly, was a Galenti Corporation, and they are all about hybrid weapons that are, you know, railguns and blasters. But all the ore ships in the game are set up for mining lasers rather than actual weapons. Generally, the offensive weapons you'll find on uh, the ore mining ships are all drones. Not to say that can't be formidable, I do actually have a kill mail where I killed another player in, uh, ooh, wow. Killed another player while flying my orca. I do like this laser thing. Why can't we have that permanently running? It makes more sense than the other items. Oh, here is a smart bomb. So we can zap things with that when things get tough. Just gotta save it for the right moment. Okay. Where are you? And we have an incoming incurses smart bomb. Oh yeah, that's how it's done, folks. My man Aid, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be here all week. Unless he dies first. And look, that is essentially the game. It's really shallow. It's designed as a mobile title for mobile VR. Obviously, they've cleaned up the graphics a lot to make it look cool. The sense of being there is great. Uh, there's a few moments where this camera moves and I get a bit of a VR-induced motion sickness. 
For ten bucks, it it comes with a bunch of missions to try. Listen up, mate. We've got an asteroid storm heading our way. Well, you know it. The genius is in maintenance, or in the middle of reconfiguring the mining rig shields. So, guess what? It's up to the gun jacks to prevent those asteroids from ripping the rig to pieces. Just stay up there as long as you can, okay? Yep, this is basically asteroids getting a 21st century VR update. Destroy as many of the asteroids as you can. Yeah, I mean, you get what's going to happen here. You just have to kind of shoot the asteroids. Some of them move towards you, some of them float around. Some of them will probably have bonuses and things in them. Uh, oh yeah, we have red ones, which explode. Those red asteroids are volatile and will explode when destroyed. Yes, the red ones are volatile and explode, and the blue ones... Okay, oh, the the kill count clock. There's some clock that we're talking about. Oh, we have an, a timer at the top. See that counting down? 40 seconds, 40, well, 41. And, uh... Yes, shooting the red ones explodes ones near them. So you're just trying to get as many points as possible. This could take some time. You know, CCP are really going in big on VR. I mean, obviously, uh, Valkyrie is one of the launch titles for the Oculus Rift, but the only way to get that is to buy it from the Oculus Store right now. And a lot of people aren't necessarily happy with giving them money for various, you know, I don't know, public mismanagement reasons, let's say. <laughs> Various things the company has done and said publicly. I mean, in theory, you can play it using the revive thing, but I'm not going to do that because, uh, you know, I obviously have to be a pillar of the community and shouldn't be seen uh, <laughs> bypassing DRM and everything else. In general, I'm just going to wait for the game to move out of exclusivity and see what it's like then. I've played it enough to know that it is a fantastic game, but this... This is available much more broadly, although broadly is a relative term when you're talking about VR. It is VR only. You got us through the worst of the storm, mate. Time to come back inside. Yeah, so my score, not fantastic, but you can go back and redo these missions. Uh, I mean, obviously that's the long-term appeal, trying to get 100% in every single mission. And thanks to the magic of video editing, of course, you can uh, realize that I went back and did that. <laughs> Look at the timer there, 195 seconds. I was going to go out in a blaze of glory, but not before I achieved master rating on this mission here. Which is apparently a level above the three stars that I've been getting already. Of course, this means that I am going to have to go back and try to get master on all the previous missions that are, you know, shooting plain old spaceships. Mining ops are suspended and non-security personnel are confined to bunker zones. It's time for us to go to work. And it's time for me to take a look around the cockpit again. Can I just move my head? It does have the, the Vive head tracking and everything, so you can look to the left and right. Although I can actually look through my own arm. I don't know how my arm works because I don't see any blood or muscles or bones inside there. Okay, once more into the great unknown. Here they come. And I'm ready for them, guns a blazing. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. Kill, kill, kill. And, ooh, purple thing. What's the purple thing? The stasis web is great for managing tricky formations. Oh, yeah, so it's a version of the EVE stasis web. Stasis web, sorry, where we basically slow things down to make them easier to shoot. Ha! Oh, that's so nice. I mean, you can see how the, you know, it uses the assets and trappings from EVE Online. Doesn't tell the greatest story, as again, it's it's super, super lightweight, and... But then again, most other VR titles are still at the level of, you know, lightweight gimmick. Ow! Lightweight gimmicks and things like that, and this is... Not only that, it's a VR title that is designed for a lightweight mobile VR platform. Excellent. Okay, coming up this way. I'm trying to figure out what that is. It looks... It kind of looks like a mini version of the... Um, Manticore Stealth Bomber, but it's more the size of the drone, so... I don't really know what that's supposed to be. I, I, Maybe my familiarity with EVE Online drones has faded since I uh, last played the game, but I don't remember any drones in the game that looked like that. It does resemble some of the... some of the ships resemble drones in the game, and certainly many of the ships, that, the bigger ships that come along, are essentially real spacecraft from an imaginary game. No, they're copied directly from EVE Online. EVE is real, remember, people. <laughs> Yeah, kamikaze drones I don't think are an actual mechanic in the game just yet. You never know, though. Those crazy people from CCP are 
continually adding new mechanics and refining the old ones, so I wouldn't put it past them to cross-pollinate their games. And that's actually a good point, that the... If you remember Dust, so Dust is... There's basically four EVE Online games, four EVE Universe games. We've got um, EVE Online, there was Dust, then there's Valkyrie and Gunjack, although technically Gunjack came out before Valkyrie, but Valkyrie was announced first, so you, know, you can order, number them in whatever order you like. But um, Dust tried to kind of integrate with the EVE Online universe, which was fine until they had to cancel, you know, shut down the servers because not enough people were playing it. Uh, I don't think Valkyrie in integrates with the EVE Online universe anymore, so this is very much an offline on rails. Here we go, it's another one of those Galente frigates with its big lats. Whoa, explodey things! Excellent! Mission complete! Bam, bam, bam. Then there were none. Time to call it a day, Slick. Maybe. Maybe one more. I'll... I think we'll do one more mission just uh, to see if we get any new magic tricks or anything in the game. Fading out, coming back in. It's not enough. They're stealing our ore. Now they have thief drones out there stealing power cores. Now they have thief drones stealing power cores? You mean like using an energy neutralizer or Nosferatu's? Surprised they didn't use that terminology to kind of integrate it back to the main universe. I mean, yeah, the the Amarians have drones that do uh, energy neutralizing. The uh, not sure how popular they are right now. That's it. Time to earn your three squares. That's right. In the dark future of Eve Online, the only way to get your meal ticket is to spread drone pieces all over the battlefield or battle space field. Starfield. Battle Asteroid Field, that's what it is. You can see them floating around there. Outer Ring Excavations are, of course, the mining corporation in EVE Online. They build most of the important mining spacecraft. They, uh, of course, brought... They bring in all the new... You know, the new um, mining technology and various other things. I remember when the... When the blue... Whoa, 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 whoa. When the blueprints for... Oh, for the Noctis... In your oh, they're gonna try and steal the power core from my turret, but I'm gonna kill these uh, angels. Whoa! What the hell was that? When they introduced the blueprints for the, the Noctis salvage ship, the only way to get them was way out in ore space, which was way out in the edge of, you know, zero zero null seg. And that was a fun day flying back through all those gate camps for people that had set up specifically to catch players trying to bring the blueprints back. I made a ton of money using my Tech 3 Bubble Immune uh, travel ship to get through the system. Okay, missiles away. Uh oh, that's one of those nemesis. Or is it? Yeah, it's a nemesis. No, no, it's not a nemesis, it's a purifier. Nemesis is the the Nemesis is the stealth bomber that the Galanti use. The Purifier is the stealth bomber that the MRs use. I'm forgetting all this. Okay, I mean I can fly all of these things. I have the skills, like 200 million skill points in my main character now, and that's without going in and buying skill transfers. Okay, kill, kill, kill. Should probably use those one of these days. Oh yes. Going full anime with the missiles there. Come down, get some more missiles. Obviously, this is a Kaldari turret with all the missiles spamming. That's a daredevil, and that is also a daredevil, I believe. The daredevil and the Dramiel look very similar. I might be wrong, actually. <laughs> oh, and this is. Is that? Wait a second. That is the. Oh, wait a second. That is the Nemesis that I was just talking about. The Galente Nemesis Stealth Bomber and lots of bombs in flight. And you see how it's using stealth? So the stealth bombers are now actually using stealth. I mean, look, it's the standard formula. As the game goes on, you the bad guys unlock more and more abilities and you unlock more and more abilities and it just keeps the game fresh, etc, etc, until, of course, you run out of things to do. But yeah, uh, it's as I said, it's not the greatest, most high-tech VR game out there, but if you're looking for a space turret shooting type thing, 
it, there are worse choices out there, I'm sure. It's an Eve-themed game. It's certainly not going to hold a candle to Valkyrie. But uh, it's... I thought it was great fun for a while. I thought it was worth 10 bucks. So check it out. The game is Eve Gunjack by CCP Games. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.